wholesome. You're crying too. We're getting repetition and it's starting to fray here at the edges. You're like a mirror. Crying. Oh no. <laughs> On my Honkai Star Rail cinematic journey, today we have come to Myriad Celestia trailer, Sparkle Behind the curtain. If you've been enjoying our time together, please consider checking out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel, including the other Star Rail character demos and animated shorts. All right, Star Rail lore masters, join me in battle once again. <laughs> it doesn't matter who I am off stage. Oh. She's like an idol. All the audience Love it. needs to know. Yes, that when I'm on stage, Whoa. I'm just sparkle. A different personality, essentially. I really it's like you, this. My beloved mask. When I'm happy, I bet that's a metaphor. You're smiling too. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. Okay, it's always smiling no matter what. When I'm sad, you keep on smiling. Seems like sort of a supportive you're like thing. A veil that I can hide under. Very wholesome. The one wearing the veil. That's Sparkle. Nice. Nice transition right there. Did you see that? The flatter flower petal obscured the face and then the mask was there. It was cool. It's you, my beloved mask. Oh, no repetition. Okay. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Okay. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. Oh boy, yep. It's when degrading. I'm sad, Crying We're getting repetition and it's starting to fray here at the edges. You're like a mirror showing my reflection. The music is a little bit crazed now, too. The mirror, that sparkle. Feels like it's gonna crack. This is fantastic. Did you see that? The glasses and then. It's you, my beloved mask. It's completely degrading. I'm happy. Terrifying. When I'm angry, you're crying. Oh no! When I'm sad, yeah, you're thought. smiling. Like a marionette? You're like a face staring at me. Oh, that's terrifying. I, I'm not Sparkle. No. Judgment? I am Sparkle. So. Alter ego. When I realized life was just a play. Oh no, that's bad. I in wanted here. to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. Oh. What do you no. say? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real sparkle? Whoa, what a great idea. Yeah, right? To have this idol that's like degraded and kind of lost their mind and then left the stage and kind of gone in this other direction of insanity and stuff. I love it. It's so creative and it's really unhinged and unnerving. And there's, there's some amazing transition here. Let's go and check out. Um, let me say, though, if you're enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out our other videos and hop in our Discord. All right. Needs to know. Let's check this out. So this kind of FPS view uh, or pseudo, you know, subjective view is actually uh, repeated again at the end and the people's reactions are now horrified, right? So look at this. It starts with this really cool FPS shot and then we end here and look at the difference. Oh. It's a dark I view really now and everybody's like, oh, oh, what's wrong with her? Really interesting. And she keeps saying um, sparkle. Who is the real sparkle and everything? And this would be her sort of alter ego stage name. As an idol, right? All the audience needs to know. So cool. Yes, that when I'm on stage, I'm... Yeah, and it looks like this is essentially her team, like her managers and stuff. So I think at the end, they're horrified because she's just snapped and lost her mind. Which is interesting because this it's a subject that's explored in a lot of media. Uh, so I assume there's some kind of truth to it. But it's the same with any sort of like, you know, young stars or people who are kind of casting the spotlight and pressures on them 24-7. At, at times, you can kind of lose your mind, right? It's a lot of pressure. I'm just back. Yeah, and I love these kind of layers of transitions. There's layers of it. Um, it's kind of like almost like a superhero transformation. She drops I'm the glasses, and then if we go frame by frame, really cool, seamless transition there. And what's interesting is 
for the lore masters. I'm gonna have some questions here. When she becomes Sparkle, look at her eyes. We get this kind of symbol in the sparkle of her eye, which is cool because it's kind of like a layered metaphor. But does that relate anyway to a sort of the other lore in Hoyoverse, for example, in Genshin Impact? Some of the characters have like this sort of crazy looking pupils uh, in certain shapes and everything. They tend to have special powers. So does this play into that in any way? I want to ask the lore masters today. Just sparkle. Just sparkle. Now this was interesting. It starts as almost like a something you'd hear in an interview. Like maybe she's giving an interview and she's just kind of is is talking about how much she likes her mask. It's you, right? My beloved mask. Sounds when great. I'm Sounds happy, normal enough. You're smiling too. Right. And when then, I'm angry, you're still smiling. Yeah, it's very nice. And the music is, you know. It's got a nice little beat to it. It's it's refined. It's got a kind of like a predictable tempo when to I'm it. I'm sad. You keep on smiling. Yeah, and it's this consistency. Uh, we can expect he's always gonna be smiling, right? You're like a veil that I can hide under. Yeah, I can hide under there. Now this is the transition I like to watch this. The one way. This flower goes past the face, and then it's it's on. It's like ooh, a little eerie there. Maybe predicting something's gonna happen. That sparkle. Yeah. And out on the stage performing, we start to see, and there it is. It's like the repetition. The use of repetition has many layers here. Day in and day out, she's going through that. Repetition it's of imagery, you. and now repetition of music, but it starts to get a little bit more crazed, a little bit more frantic, and the way she describes it starts to change. My beloved mask. Her voice. So I see a little bit more emotion. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. When I'm it crashes through the water. Angry. Interesting, right? You're screaming too. You're screaming too. It takes a very interesting turn. That's like screaming, unhinged, you know. When I'm sad, yeah. you're crying too. I love this idea of the reflection too. Uh, the reflection on the water surface is like. You know, uh, her other self. Who is she? Is she her real, her real self or is she Sparkle? Like it's explored mirror. so well. Showing my reflection. It's a very short video, too. It's well done. The one in the mirror. That Sparkle. Look at this. Like the sky is almost like a big screen, digitized screen and everything. It's, it's like, what is reality and what is not? And again, to be in that situation, I can't blame her at all for thinking that. Oh, that's so sad. You can see, like, she's turned her back to the crowd and is, you know, starting to kind of hurt and, and be confused. Even though they're cheering. And there it is, the repetition again. We get the same repeated imagery. So, well, well done choices there. And then day three. Notice this. It's you. My ah, the music has actually degraded. It, it, it at first was more frantic, and now it's just, like, completely broken apart. It's kind of really scary. Beloved mask. And look at the coloration, it's red. When I'm happy. Which is cool because we have this red stylization on her outfit and her makeup. But now it's like encroaching on the entire reality in the world and it has all of a sudden, instead of this kind of cute, like, ah, oh, it's nice, that's, that's her style. Now it's like the world falling apart. <laughs> it's kind of scary. You're screaming. When I'm angry. Yeah, and then crying. the music starts to go crazy. When I'm sad. And just this marionette, it's like she's being held up by by a you know a consciousness that's not her own and stuff. It's terrifying. You're smiling. Yeah. Really scary. You're like a face. And there's just faces floating, laughing at it. Like what is going Staring on? Staring at me. Yeah, really cool I, piece. I'm not sparkle. No. And it's you're a face staring at me. No longer, you know, you're mimicking me, which has a very different feeling. I am Sparkle. Terrifying. So. And there it is. Yeah. When I realized life was just a play. And those people disappeared. Her, her I crew. I wanted to leave the stage because off stage. So interesting. There's an even bigger stage. What do you say? I think it's a great idea. The real spark. What an idea for a villain. I love it. I love that idea for a villain. It's so weird and, and just unnerving and everything. Fantastic. 
Yeah, absolutely great. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. Um, is this going to be a new villain in the patch? Really interested to find out. Let me know in the comments. But fantastic work from uh, Honkai Star Rail. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to sub. Hop in our Discord. We have a Honkai community in there, and it's a lot of fun. All right, friends. Talk to you next time.